Now, for those of you who don't know me, and those of you who do, when I get information and it comes from another person, I got to give that person their credit. The young lady's name is Fortune Cookie, K-O-O-K-I-E, 963. Fortune Cookie, 963. I got to give her her credit. Because if she had not brought this to my attention, I ain't never seen nothing like this. My eyes have seen, and I promise you, I ain't never in my life seen nothing like what I'm about to show you. Can we have a moment of silence? No, that means shut up. No one ever told me about this. I'm a history buff, y'all. I love history. So why do they keep changing it? Pay attention. This is 1898. We, the undersigned citizens of the city of Wilmington in the county of Hanover, New Hanover, excuse me, do hereby declare that we will no longer be ruled. We will never again be ruled by men of African origin. Excuse me? When were they ever ruled by men of African origin? Hold on now. This condition we have in part endured because we felt that the consequences of war, of secession, were such to deprive us of the fair consideration of many of our countrymen. Excuse me? I haven't even read the rest. I stopped. Pay attention. I stopped on that paragraph. When did African origin men rule over Anglo-Saxon men? Right there. A fate to which no Anglo-Saxon has ever been forced to submit. Pay attention. While we recognize the authority of the United States and we will yield to it if exerted, we will not for a moment believe that it is the purpose of the more than 60,000 of our own race subject to subject is permanently the faith of the Anglo-Saxon. We therefore believing that we represent unequivocally the sentiment of white people in this country and city, hereby for ourselves representing themselves proclaim. This is a declaration, ladies and gentlemen. Since when did the Negro, I'm sorry, African origin people you see, because this young lady, Miss Fortune Cookie 963, did a couple of videos. I can't put the videos up because, you know, she she kind of uses a certain language that I can't agree with. And I told people I won't post things that way. But I will send you guys her way. She's on TikTok. Fortune Cookie. Cookie is spelled K-O-O-K-I-E 963. Ladies and gentlemen, she's showing you the documents. I I had I told her, I said, I'm going to go look this up. I sent her an email. I said, I got some research to do. I just told the people in the group that we have on Telegram, I got some researching to go do. This is my research that I'm doing. Nobody is doing this for me. This is an actual document. Why? This is... She just said it in a video, and I said, well, let me go look up this white Declaration of Independence. Printed in Raleigh, News and Observer. This was an actual print, ladies and gentlemen. Reply of the Colored Committee to the White Declaration of Independence, <laughs> okay? Back and forth. Oh, wait. That re wait, let's read this reply, because guess what? This thing is so short. The Committee of Colored Citizens to the Honorable A.M. Waddell, undated, typewritten copy of Alfred M. Waddell Papers and Southern Historical Collection, University of North Carolina Library. Dear sir, we, the colored citizens, to whom was referred the matter of expulsion from this community, of the persons and press of A.M. Manley, beg most respectfully to say that we are in no wise responsible for nor in any way endorse the obnoxious article <laughs> that called for your activities. Neither we are 
excuse me, hold on, pay attention, y'all. They supposed to be unlearned. This is 1879, or 1890, whatever it is. Let me get back up here to find out the date again. 1898. This is 1898. They supposed to be unwise. They supposed to be bubble, a bubby be bubby, a fat elder. They're supposed to be talking like that. We beg most respectfully. Excuse me? Obnoxious article? They're using words like that. Neither are we authorized to act for him in this matter. But in the interest of peace, in the interest of peace, we will most willingly use our influence to have your wishes carried out. Very respectfully, the Committee of Colored Citizens. I don't know who they were, where they went, or anything, but I'd never heard of this, have y'all? I'm just telling, I'm just saying, I just, I, man, whew. Um, that's why we know everything is a lie. We already told you guys, there's no such thing as the Declaration of Independence being a legal document. It was a declaration, not the declaration. A declaration. Remember, they sent it to England. Now, pay attention. I like this cool part. I got to I gotta get this one. Pay attention. They sent it to England. So, United States would not have the original copy. So, what is that they have in the Library of Congress talking about it's an original? They sent it to England. How do they still have a copy? Look, I'm going to tell you, I deal with logic. And there was a young man. Pay attention, because it's very important. There was a young man. He did a video on TikTok. Talking about the lunar landing. <laughs> He's absolutely right. Oh, God. Go back and look at the lunar landing. Don't worry about all the things that people have said. Just look at this fact because he pointed out this fact and he's 100% right. How in the world did they film Neil Armstrong stepping out of the capsule if Neil Armstrong was the first one to step out and the first one to walk on the moon? Who is doing the filming? Now, pay attention. The filming is being done from outside the capsule. Neil Armstrong was supposed to be the first one that stepped out. So who was doing the filming? No, 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 no. Hold on now. I don't want to hear it. Who's filming the lunar module leaving the moon's orbit and coming back to Earth? Y'all need to go pick that mother back up, okay? Because he's still there. No, no, y'all don't get it, do you? Somebody filmed that module leaving the moon's surface. When did they go pick that fool back up? Because I ain't never heard of them going back to pick him up because he was left there videotaping them leaving the moon. That's how you know the lunar whole junk was faked. Don't take nothing about no waving flag. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do the angles and the sunlight and all of that stuff. They cannot explain who was doing the filming of them. No, no, no. It was not on one of those cameras that, that record as they were leaving. Uh -uh. Sorry. It was not on one of those cameras that was recording as the... Because that would have burnt up leaving the Earth. Remember, the camera was on the outside of the unit. There, there, uh uh there is no one ever talking about a camera that came from outside of a compartment that videotaped anything. Don't let them lie to y'all no more. They've been lying to us all this time, and we need to stop the stupidity. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. This was taken on that. They called it a coup. They called it a coup, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Got the guns and everything. They called it a coup. Now, this is the population, the blacks and the whites. <laughs> oh, God. I, you can't make this up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not, I, I've am not. i never been to this before, but I didn't know this. Oh, God. Oh, by the way, hold on. Please understand, there was no such thing as an African-American back then. They didn't come up even with that stupid phrase until the 80s. I remember when they first started saying it, I thought it was stupid. We went from being called Negro to Negroes to Black to African Americans. Now we don't know what we is. Now I tell people, I'm just an American. I was born in America. I'm a Native American. Then that's what I was doing the research on, Native Americans, the original Native Americans. Oh, if only y'all knew who the original Native Americans were. 
Wilmington was the center of African-American political and economic success. Ladies and gentlemen, where uh, it says it was considered the symbol of black hope, largely due to black agency within the black community. Where is this history at? Because they never taught it to us. African-American entrepreneurs owned barbershop, restaurants, tailored shops, and drugstores. The city boasted numerous black professionals, such as attorneys. But I thought they were dumb and dumbfounded. I don't know. Where do I go pick some more cotton balls? Please, you guys, they lied to us. If they lied to us, then the entire nation, including people who are not black, who are not colored folk. I forgot. I, 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 I'm sorry. I forgot colored. Okay, I apologize. We've been called everything under the sun except the sun. Oh, you, you know, we were called boy. We weren't called son. Okay. We're called boy, not son. So we've been called everything under the sun except the sun. All right. But nobody told me about this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just now finding out about this. I am a half a century on this planet, plus a couple of pennies, and no one ever told me about this. No, 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 hold on. I have a sister. We call her Misi. Well, some of my brothers and sisters call her Nisi. I call her Misi. Misi, what an M. But called her Nisi from time to time. It was interchangeable. Anyway, my eldest sister would try to say this to us, but because we were hearing something different in school, we didn't listen to her. The Black Panthers were trying to tell this to us, but because they were called militant, we didn't listen to them. They told us the Black Panthers were radicals, militants. They lied. I'm going to tell you something. Mr. Tupac tried to say this to us. He had his own way, but he did try to say, because he knew. And what did we do? We dismissed it. Well, you can't dismiss it anymore. I can't dismiss it. You can't dismiss it. Why? Because you just read it. We also read the one from Mississippi. This wasn't just pay attention. This is Wilmington. Then we had Mississippi. Then we have the other states like Massachusetts that were experiencing the same thing. How is that possible when we were lied to and told that these guys didn't have no power? They were colored folks. They had no rights. They couldn't vote. We're finding out that not only are they voters, but they're also attorneys. That means they are members of the bar. Go ahead. How is that possible? These individuals were firemen and policemen. How is that possible? We were never told this. Go ahead. Go look at all the films and all the history. Just like the young lady said, we have artist renditions of the slave ships. Pay attention. I want y'all to pay attention. We have artist renditions of the slave ships. We have a lot of pictures from back then. Yeah, they, they had the cameras. We had a lot of pictures from back then, but never a picture Pay attention of anybody getting off of the slave ships. We heard of the Amistad. Okay, we heard of that, right? They said they brought over 12 million people. Do you know how much work that would be to bring over 12 million people? Ladies and gentlemen, the whole slave trade thing was a lie. Don't take my word for it. Go do your research. Just like they said, 6 million Jews were killed by Hitler. In those so-called gas chambers, impossible for the amount of time did not allow six million to be incinerated. They didn't have the equipment back then. They have it now. They have bombs now that can just incinerate a whole swath of people in no time. Look, Israel's using them. Oh, did I just say that? I'm sorry. I apologize. They've been lying to us, and now they want to curtail information. They want to say certain information is not permitted to be given to the public because you guys are too dumb to know this information. They lied. They said that blacks were slaves. Some of them probably were slaves, ladies and gentlemen, but not all of them. How do we know this? 
We hear about Harriet Tubman and the Freedom Railroad. There were, she probably did save quite a few individuals who were slaves, but why would she do it? Because she knew they didn't deserve to be slaves. But not because that they were this and that. No, because pay attention. Why did she do it? Because of what we're looking at right now. Look, you don't become an attorney overnight. You don't. Okay, they said professionals. This is the 1890s, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, they had just gotten rid of the Reconstruction Act. They had just gotten rid of that. This held municipal positions and political positions. They participated in politics. They voted. This is North Carolina. This is not Mississippi. Black male literacy, liter, uh, literacy rate was higher than that of whites. I didn't write this. Okay, this is not produced by me. This is produced by the University of North Carolina. Pay attention. North Carolina University is the one who produced this. University of North Carolina Education Department. Send your request to Carolina. Carolina, sorry. North Carolina, anyway. Send your, <laughs> send your uh, request to Carolina K-12. University of North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the coup. They called it a coup. How come we ain't never heard of this? All I can tell you is interesting. I know some of you are going to do your research the same as I had to do mine. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you, do not worry about my viewership on any platform. The information that I give out is only designed for the people who find it. I don't advertise. I don't care if they advertise. I don't care if they show. I don't care if they don't show. I don't care if they take my channels off tomorrow. It doesn't matter. It's too late. I've already infected their entire system. Some of you guys don't understand. I told them I will rip them apart from the inside. I've been revealing their secrets for the last two and a half years. If you don't believe me, go back and watch my videos. I'm talking about things nobody else was talking about. Now, some people say, but you've been talking about this for years. Yes, not in detail. I told them to leave me to, alone. They decided they weren't going to leave me alone. So I went to the God that I served and I asked him for his permission because he won't allow me to disrespect them. Pay attention. He says that I have to be respectful of these intelligent creatures. He won't allow me to disrespect them. So I asked him to let me do exactly what you see me doing. Now, if you don't think that core and non-core information is that valuable, then I can't help you. You'll never be able to be helped by anybody of any significance. Ladies and gentlemen, you really do need to understand that's how they've taken over, step by step. It's been subtle. I do like hearing about this. Now look, I got some um, spider webs all over my cameras and the alarm right next to the window is going off because... <laughs> The spiders have been, I don't know why spiders like cameras. I don't know, do they want to get their picture taken or something? But they love my cameras. So I got to go clear the camera. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you all take care. And I, all I can tell you is nobody told me. People tried. They. I, I, I cannot take that away from them. People did try, but I believed. I believed in the government. I believed in Ma and Paul. Sam, okay, uncle, yeah, I believed that idiot because we were told that they are there to help us. They are not there to help us. It has been one-sided, and it is fortunate that I happen to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses because if I wasn't a Jehovah's Witness, and I don't think about this all the time, but if I wasn't, I promise you Martin and uh, that young man Malcolm wouldn't have had nothing on me. 
they would have said, Nat Turner, man, who resurrected that mother? Okay. And he's like three times worse than that. Nate, Nat, Nate, Nat, Nate, Nat, Nate, Nate. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? That would have been me. But then I happened to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses. And the God that I serve says, hey, I got this. I'm like, okay. And I just have to sit back and watch him take care of things. And he promises he will. And I've been watching him take care of things slowly. Well, slowly to us, but in his own due time to him. It's slow to us because we want it done yesterday, tomorrow, next week. And he's like, nah, I already have a day in mind. So you just got to wait until my time arrives. Your time is already here, but my time, my time when it arrives, it's going to be on time. And so I just have to wait for the on time signal. So take care of everybody. Take care of your families. Take care of your brothers. Take care of your mothers. Take care of everybody because things are about to get rough. Look, this information is coming out when? And it's a plethora of people. I know some people have been talking about it for years, but it's now reaching the right people. Go ahead. Don't take my word for it. It ain't just me. Go ahead and look at all the people who are talking about it, including Miss Fortune Cookie 963 on TikTok. She's not the only one. Then you have the collection. Is it you no know, correction? 173. Uh, now I can't even think of the rest of the young men and the I, um, the so-called channel's name. But they're talking about it. He's the one who got me turned on to this. Okay? He is the one. It is Collection, isn't it? Collection 173? Anyway, I, I think it's Consortium. Don't know because uh, I'm not looking at it right now. But they're the ones who got me onto this. If I hadn't seen their videos, I would not know any of this. I was just talking to somebody about this, somebody who was in jail. I'm sending him the page 182. We were just talking about this county thing where they're saying the same thing as we're reading in this about the Negroes ruling. This is Mississippi. Now, how is this document saying the same as that document? They lied to us, everyone. They lied. They told us that the Negro was pole and dirt pole and couldn't do nothing, could barely speak, and had to learn how to read because it was against the law for them to read. Then how are they lawyers if they didn't know how to read? Did you read that response? They're using legalese, and they're not using the make-believe legalese where they're trying to sound like they're smart. He responded and rebutted their stupidity with just a simple paragraph. And then said he wanted to do it peacefully. So he wasn't Martin Luther King. He says, let's resolve this peacefully. It was the other group that had guns. You saw the picture. Hold on. We're going to go back there because it don't make no sense if you don't pay attention. He's responding to this group right here. They all got guns. But now they want to take away your guns. Now, I'm not a gun person. I don't like guns. Never had a gun. Never hold a gun. Don't want a gun. Don't need a gun. Okay. I have a rock shield, arm crag. You know, I have a fortress. I don't need a gun. He takes care of my lightweight. All right. But getting back to this, take a look. This is them, people. They are afraid. Why are they afraid? They're afraid of this. They're afraid that they're outnumbered. It had nothing to do with numbers. This wasn't bothering this. This wasn't bothering this. This wasn't doing nothing to this. They wanted power. Look at this. They were outnumbering them outgrowing them leaps and bounds this is their census it was only 2,000 more people now it's 4,000 more people and now it's about 4,000 3,000 more people it's not that much but to them it was enough oh well Wilmington was bustling and thriving port of town and for all levels of society and race during the last quarter of the 19th century. It was the state's largest city, with the majority of the population, two-thirds being 
Afro Conans. Okay. What were they afraid of? They weren't causing any problems. They weren't, you didn't hear about them going around killing people, raping people. That's what they tell you today. That every black male out there is going to rape some white woman. Go ahead. That's why white women are afraid of black men. Because that was the story. Every big black man is going to come rape you and your daughter and your child and your sister and your mother and your sister and your cousin and uncle nieces. Go ahead. That was the story. That's why white women are traditionally afraid of black men. Because of those stereotypes and stories. Go ahead. Go back and read these articles. You'll see that that wasn't happening at that time. My bad. Hey, the People's Party. I heard of them. Pay attention. The People's Party, founded by the working class and rural whites, predominantly farmers, who left the Democratic Party. We heard of them. Now look at this. The Republican Party originally emerged as an anti-slavery party in the mid-1850s, though it was not officially organized in North Carolina until 1867. The platform consisted of free enterprise Racial toleration and politically political equality for African so-called Americans. People are telling the truth when they tell you that the so-called Republicans, the so-called Republicans, were not the racist organization they are today. Did you just say that out loud? Yeah, I said that. Why you say that? Because I see what I see. I oh, don't worry about the Democrats. It just says racist. They're equal opportunists. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, they keep talking about, okay, let's do this because some of you need to hear it. The so-called people of color in the United States, they're the only ones who are denied access. Now, Hispanics are going to say, no, we're denied access. No, 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 no. We were there first. We were there first. Through the 60s, through the 40s, through the 30s, through the 20s. We were the ones who were denied access to everything. Go back and look at the Homestead Law. The Homestead Law didn't bar Hispanics. The Homestead Law barred people of color that's what they did they created gatekeeping for people of color they've been doing gatekeeping for over 110 years it's gatekeeping people when they block your access to services block your access to land now hey what do they call it the march of tears or something like that that's what i'm doing research on the fact that they called the original Indians Negroes? Why would they do that? And then the ones who were allowed to stay, they called them black? They, they went from calling them Negroes to black? Why would they do that? I thought the Indians, the ones we see today, were the original Indians. I understand why people have been saying that people of color were the original Indians. I get that. I get it. I get it. You better believe I get it. All we heard about is some Buffalo and all of that. And I'm not putting down people who are Cherokee and Navajo or any of those people. You better believe I'm not putting any of you down because they've done you a horrible wrong because I've seen it firsthand. However, the original Indians, nobody can deny anymore because we have proof because we have the publications of that error. That's the point. That's what I'm trying to say. Now look, I got things I gotta go check out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gotta go clear these spider webs because I'm getting tired of that alarm going off and it'll go off all night because of some stupid spider web. All right, but y'all's y'all just take care. I don't know what we gonna do y'all because something, something just ain't right. I'm going to go talk to Keith Sweat because he, he's probably got something to say about this, okay? Look at it, the fusion moment. When they were fused together. By fusing their voters, they hoped to defeat the Democrats and regain control of the local and statewide politics. They fused groups together, the black Republicans forming a fusion coalition. Aww, with the white populace. Aww. Look at that. They were united. So the blacks weren't out there killing, robbing, raping, and stealing. Huh. What happened? Why is it that that's what they promote today? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, the paperwork, I mean, the information is right there. All you got to do is the same as I did. I just went, and I'm going to tell you what I did so you can go do it yourself. I just put in the White Declaration of Independence, not PDF. 
I pulled up the declaration. You saw that at the beginning. But then I started searching these other articles because I'm downloading this. I'm taking and I'm creating history. I'm creating. This is what I clicked on the coup in Wilmington, North Carolina. Thomas Jefferson, nobody cares about that mother. Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me make sure you understand. I, I don't care about no Declaration of Independence. I know it's not called the Declaration of Independence. The changing, uh, challenging, and communicating white supremacy. Nobody cares about that. The ghost of 1898. I want this one. Why? Because this is the White Declaration of Independence, and they call it the ghost of 1898. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't make this up, okay? And again, we got the guns and the ends and the eyes and the ends with, uh-oh, burning buildings, taking pictures in front of it, Timothy Tyson, probably Cicely Tyson's nephew, okay? That's their picture, so you better believe I'm downloading this one too. That's the picture we saw earlier. That's the building. That's Oh, that's why they're standing in front of that building. I guess... That building has a whole lot to deal with it, and that's this article right here. Okay, some of it I can't. I'm saving it to a particular folder because I'm going to put it in chat GPT. I'm going to have a whole section that's going to discuss nothing but this. Look, what I'm doing in one of the groups, I'm showing people how to use chat GPT effectively. The way it it's designed, but they don't they don't advertise it this way. Like I said, I've been waiting for this technology for a while. For a while. And so because I've been waiting for this technology, I've been already seeing how to use it. You see, they weren't all standing in front of it. We got men standing on top of this too. So that was all staged, y'all. Look, black firefighters stand on the second floor of the destroyed Love and Charity Hall in Wilmington. Children watch on the steps below in the building house housed the city's black owned newspaper they set it on fire that's interesting i didn't know ladies and gentlemen i didn't know as whitney would say he didn't know oh no that was uh i think that was tony braxton sorry one of them said it anyway ladies and gentlemen you have best believe I'm about to, and the fact that they took all of these articles and put them together, I'm going to tell you to do the same thing because this is your history. This tells you what was actually going on. There are black men. Give me one second. There the black men saw a raid against them, a real financial power of the city. Leon Parker writes, backed by weapons superior to both number and firepower, it was clear to the voice of the white supremacy did not waver. There was murder in the air. Look at that. Sorry. Who egged that on? Somebody had to be the promoter of the ignorance. Who egged that on? And the whole thing was somebody had power and somebody wanted to take that power. Look, as well as the symbol of black pride, the African-American economic and political power. This is the very same thing that was in the other article that we were reading. It said almost exactly the same thing was as well a symbol of black pride. White Democrats were in no mood to wait. The day after the election, Hugh McRae of Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, trained industrialists and one of the secret nine called a public meeting so mit was into this too man the negroes stop and antagonizing our interests in every way excuse me insisted that the negroes stop what was the negro doing said they were antagonizing i don't know so maybe y'all have to go and read this yourselves no, y'all y'all saw the video. I ain't putting it up online for y'all. Y'all going to do your own research the same as I had to do my research. I think I already did this. I'm just making sure I save it because these articles are, like I told you, ladies and gentlemen, this is history. We don't need somebody else to tell us what went on. 
the news articles will tell us everything. I was trying to get ChatGPT to do this to show you guys that the original method of voting in the United States for amendments is not that junk they're doing now. Congress never had the authority y'all think they had. Okay? Congress never had that authority to make laws. The whole point was Congress couldn't make laws without the people telling them these are the laws we want. Okay? Y'all just need to know. The white man's declaration of independence. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank y'all for indulging me. Like I said, I didn't know any of this junk. And see, they keep putting the United States Declaration, but I didn't say anything. I Now, see, I didn't know. Now they're calling it a massacre. Ma, 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 mas, massacre. Okay? And you know what? I want... I want to do that. I want to look up that. Let's do that real quick before I before I discontinue. Because the name caught my attention. I didn't know there was a massacre. I see the firehouse burned down. I see they're talking about the coup. And race riots. And the rise of white supremacy. Uh, this is a dot .org, so I don't want to go there. They, I think this is the PDF. I think it's the same PDF. Okay. This is the same PDF with the articles that we just read. It's just the way they titled the document. I wasn't going to go there because I can tell that's somebody else's opinion. But this one is commemorating the racial violence in 1898. And then there's this is memory of the Wilmington situation. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I never heard of it. Nobody ever said anything. Never taught this to me in school. Why not? It is history. Oh, critical race theory. Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why they don't want you to know about so-called black history. It's because the truth. The truth hurts. Now, and it has nothing to do with putting down one race over another. You see, we were lied to. They said that people of color didn't have the ability to vote, didn't have the ability to read. Okay? They said that none of them had access to anything. They lied. They said they weren't property owners. Well, of course they weren't because they kept burning down their properties. If only you guys knew, if only you guys knew, if only you guys knew what was really going on in our society and why they keep doing what they do. Now, this one says timeline, so I'm going to download this one too. But I'm gonna create a whole chat GPT. I'm a, I, I, it's gonna be from hero to Negro. You better, that's gonna be the chat GPT. Y'all watch this. We, look, ladies and gentlemen, pay attention what I'm doing. Save as. Come on now. Oh no, I can't do save as. Sorry. Don't do save as. Don't do save as, ladies and gentlemen. Do print. Sorry. And you wanna print as PDF. Now watch. Watch what happens. It's already set for PDF. Watch what happens when it loads the page up. It's going to get rid of all that junk and going to just give me the word. See, right there. That's what I want. Since they don't want to give me a PDF, I'll create my own PDF. The coup d'etat. I'm sorry. If you don't understand, that's d'etat. Coup d'etat. All right. The... Reason why this information is important because there are so many people out there who are trying to keep this information hidden from government to organizations and so forth. And most of the organizations are guided by a particular group and a particular country that's causing a lot of damage on the planet right now. I don't think it will hurt that people knew what happened and by these articles i can see people have been trying to get this information out but too many of us are too busy watching tv well what would this have changed anything in my life of course not but i would have looked at things a whole lot different you see in our society they teach us to hate our brother to hate our sister to hate our mother to hate our cousins to hate our nephews they teach us to hate Ladies and gentlemen, 
in our neighborhoods. They teach us to hate people of the exact same skin color that we are. If they look a certain way, if they dress a certain way. Don't take my word for it. You guys have lived the same experience that I have. You've lived in the same world that I have. You know how they teach us to hate one another. To hate one another. Come on now. It won't let me go nowhere, y'all. I done clicked on it. And then, well, I can't go. Oh, now it, when I was just about to tell y'all, I got to go. Y'all go take care of y'all selves. Challenging the community of white supremacy. I don't want to talk about white supremacy. I want to do this one. And American experience. I don't care about the American experience part. Because that's one-sided. You see how it said the American experience? Uh-oh. This is the General Assembly of North Carolina. What did y'all, what bill did y'all put in? The bill should be entitled an act to acknowledge as recommended by blah, 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 race riot commission that the violence of blah, 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 race riot was a conspiracy that used intimidation and force to replace a duly elected local government. And that's correct. I, I, when did they short title? What year was this? 2006. But here's the thing. General Assembly, House, blah, 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 blah. Okay. But that's exactly what it was. They were duly elected because they had the majority of the population, but that's what was hated. There were more of a particular color. So technically, yes, people were voting by race for the most part. Why? I wasn't there, but I can tell you that's what it was. Why? Because you saw blacks outnumbered whites. Sorry. But now, they've made it to where your vote doesn't even count, even on the local elections. I don't know why people still participate, but they do. But I do like the fact that somebody told the truth there. And General Assembly North Carolina just had that one right commission. Well, this one is the commission. I, I want the commission. I want the commission report. Because these commissioners, they said something okay that's what i'm looking for okay i am looking for something like this this is 79 pages so i'm gonna take this why because i am creating a chat gpt that's gonna be specific to this from hero to negro is what i'm gonna call it because they took these individuals who had achieved something and they degraded them made them less than why do you guys don't you guys understand black wall street black wall street wasn't a single event i understand why time hanks and let me let me do this so that you guys can understand what what i'm getting at i understand why tom hanks was upset tom hanks wasn't upset because of one race over another he was upset because they lied he had never heard of the so-called black wall street and what took place in that massacre and it was a massacre because it was race driven they tried to kill too many people in one swoof give me one second this is a 309 website review politics and a massacre this is oxford let me try Oxford and see what Oxford academics is saying. I don't, I don't really too much like the word massacre. So uh, this is a book. Yeah, this is too short. I need the entire thing. Dagnabbit. Hold on. So what we do is we copy this. Copy, because they want you to sign up and all that stuff. I don't feel like doing all that. I told you guys, my job is to find the PDFs. Eventually, I'll put all of these PDFs online, but for right now, new. No. So we're going to take that, and we're going to paste that, and hit that. 
And so politics and a massacre. This one is at this university. These are all at these different uh, George Ma uh, Mason's University. So we'll we'll go to this one first. Yeah, we'll go to this one first. I don't know if this is a PDF, but I'm hoping it's a printed document. If not, I will find the PDF. All right, let me let you guys go. I keep saying it. This is not that long, but it's... Uh-oh, it definitely ain't that long. Okay. It's a video. Okay. Now... Dang it, it's a video. I'll, I'll probably watch the video. So what I'm going to do with this one, this is the core.ecu.edu. I'm going to duplicate, open in another window, and I'm going to go back and look for my PDF because that's what I want. Well, that's not a PDF there, buddy. This one, this is a coup. I don't want that one. I want the political politics of a massacre. That's what I want. And they ain't giving it to me. Politics of a massacre. Yeah, let's do this one. This one says PDF free. So I don't see it. This one, nope, that's the same thing. Same thing. So I won't be able to find the politics of a massacre because it'll take me too long. And I ain't got time to be going through all of this, so y'all ain't going to put me through this. So y'all better leave me alone, because I ain't got no time. I ain't got no time. Let's do this. I'm going to try one more. Hey, James, what's up? You say I can find it here? Because this page is too short for it to be on this page. Politics of a Massacre sent me right back to where we were. So, Wilmington today. And let's see what's here. Nope, no links. I was hoping there'll be a link so that I could download it. But it takes me right back. It's just a loop. It's just a loop. Loop de doop de doop doop. And look at that. Look at that. The photo gallery offers a glimpse of the city's thriving African American community in 1898. <sighs> imagine that all oh, businessmen imagine that that's not what we were told go back go back in history ladies and gentlemen we have no pictures of so called African Americans in the 1890s in the early 1900s go take a look at history look at all the videos and the fo footage that we have it. yes they had videos at that time Look at all the videos and the footage that we have back then. Look at all the pictures. Very few pictures of people of color. We see people of non-color. Look at the Henningberg and all of that stuff. All the pictures of people are not of non-color, but they definitely always show you people of color on trains, being trainsmen and all of that stuff. Always showing them working or in... <sighs> Shabby clothing? Why? Because they need to portray an image. You all need to see a certain image. Okay, I can't find it, so that's it. Gotta go. Take care of yourselves. Next time.